Hello loves, let's talk about how I made this design. Number one step is your cake has to be iced perfectly. So you have to have a nice even buttercream icing around it and pretty decent amount. Step number two is you should put it in the freezer for a good 10 minutes. This will firm up that buttercream. Step number three, use a tool that has these kind of edges. And you can actually do this with any type of edge tool. It doesn't have to be square lines. It could be curves or anything like that. But since this was going to have alternating stripes, I needed to use this tool. So you continue to scrape off like you see me doing here until I have a difference in between the stripes so I can fill in the other ones. It's okay if you see cake coming through between the alternating stripes because you are going to fill that in with another color. So after you feel like it's pretty much smooth and you've deepened the crevices as much as you can go, you're going to want to put it back in the freezer for another like five to 10 minutes or so, so you can add the next layer of cream. Now, just with a fine tip or whatever you have for buttercream, go ahead and fill in those layers with whichever color you want. You wanna put a thick amount, and then that way it ensures that when you're scraping it off, like I'm doing here, it's getting into all the crevices. Even while you're watching the video, you can see there are some parts that have no cream inside. So what I would do is I'd go back and fill in those holes the white cream underneath is still firm from the freezer, so it won't really mix in with the colors. Then what you do is you just continue to scrape off until the two colors aren't mixed together. You'll start to see that happen when you look at your scraper and it's got the alternating different colors like you see here. Afterwards, for the drips, chocolate or buttercream, whatever you prefer, you want to make sure that the cake is chilled again so that, you know, you can pour that warm chocolate over it and it won't melt. And this is the final product. It's one of my favorite type of cakes to make, actually. It's pretty fun to do. You can see how I made the topper on Topper Tuesday.